you become like a family to one another and you know each other's joys and sorrows. And so I felt that being a chaplain in that environment would not only be a blessing to me, but I felt like I had something to offer um, to be a blessing to my airmen. At first I thought, I haven't done anything unusual. And then I realized, well, no, I've given Holy Communion in the middle of North Texas on a hot field with a bunch of security forces guys, and it was about 112 degrees, and we were doing land navigation. And they just said, Chaplain, let's stop and let's, let's have a moment of grace. And so you do that there in the middle of a field that you wouldn't expect, um, but that's Christ is present with us in all places. We're wherever our airmen are, so that they don't have to come find us, we go and find them. Much like Christ went out and found people where they were and ministered to them, that's what we model for our folks. I love working with chaplains of all different faiths. We have the best conversations. Um, so I have good friends who are Muslim chaplains, friends who are Jewish chaplains, um, some of my best friends are Episcopalians, uh, as well as Lutheran, Baptist. We have all different folks coming together um, and sharing our, our ideas about God. We wrestle with each other, we argue, we drink a lot of coffee, but we have a good time with that. And I have learned a lot that I didn't know. I came in with some assumptions, I think, about my brothers and sisters of other faiths. And in discussion, we find out we're not as different as we think. Um, and the question can come, where's God in the midst of this? We have answers for that. God is right there with you. Christ is walking with you in the midst of all of this. And that comes very much rooted in Luther's theology of the cross. We bring that to the fight.